Welcome everyone. Welcome to my second live video. I'm Sandra Zimmer and we are talking about overcoming fear of public speaking and learning to get calm and comfortable in your skin and connected to people and confident speaking to groups whether they are live groups or uh, virtual groups. I am the creator of the Sandra Zimmer Method, which is the most gentle, nurturing, supportive method or process to transform what I call the tension of being the center of attention and develop a sense of authentic presence so that you are free to express yourself in front of other people. This is my second live video. A couple days ago, I did my first live video and we talked about the first step in the Sandra Zimmer method, which is getting out of your head and into your body so that you drop into yourself and become comfortable in your skin in front of a group. We, we actually had a bit of a, a Facebook Live fiasco during the first uh, uh, live video. What happened was we accidentally tripped on the live camera and meanwhile I went off to the bathroom not knowing that we were live singing I'm off to be the wizard. I was gone for about two minutes and then I came back I plugged my microphone back in and I looked up and I went oh my god <laughs> We're live! And I yelled at my assistant, Nancy, I think we're live! And I just started talking. It was, um, it was funny, it was a little humiliating, but it was a great test for me of being able to deal with it and go right into talking for about 13 minutes or so. Today, I'm going to share with you the second and the third steps, a couple of steps, the, the next couple of steps in the Sandra Zimmer method. The second step is releasing the tension of being the center of attention. And the third step is making real connection with people in your listening audience. Again, whether it's live or virtual, same thing. So step two in my Sandra Zimmer method is about what you have to do to actually release the stage fright, the tension, the anxiety, the fear of public speaking out of your body, to clear that out of your body so that you feel more like you're in flow. And so the thing that you have to do in order to release the tension, it's actually two things. You have to pay attention to the tension and let yourself actually feel it. You have to actually let yourself feel and become conscious of what's going on underneath your skin, in your body, in your mind, before you can release it. And I know it sounds scary, but it's actually not. Once you've done the first step, which is grounding in your body to get comfortable in your skin, then paying attention to the tension is it's just not that big a deal. You might experience your heart pounding, but it's just a sensation. It's just a feeling that you're having in your body. And then what you have to do at that point is actually express it so that you clear it or move it out of your physical body. So think about it. When you become the center of attention and you're not comfortable, there is a lot of energy that gets stirred up underneath your skin and it, it creates a kind of pressure because you're contracting against it. And so the energy is getting kind of balled up inside you. And that is creating a tremendous amount of discomfort and anxiety inside. But if you can pay attention to that and actually express it, 
And the word express means to press out. So if you can have the courage to be authentic with your listeners and say, oh, my heart is pounding, or wow, I feel a little nervous. I want to do a good job for you today. If you can find a way to express it, what will happen is that contraction will release and all of that energy will start to go into flow in your body and you start to feel really good. It is amazing. When we do this in a group that I facilitate, either a live group in my office or a group that's meeting virtually, and we pay attention to the tension and we express the tension, people inevitably say, ooh, it, it's gone, it feels good now. Yeah, I feel okay, I feel ready to talk. And so that is what we have to do really to release the tension of being the center of attention and get into flow. And that takes us into the third step, which is making real connection with your listening audience, again, either live or virtually. Now, I teach my clients to use a soft eye contact so that they can receive the flow of attention from people as they are standing at or being at the center of attention. When you receive the flow of attention, something wonderful and amazing starts to happen. You create a sense of we are here together instead of I'm up here alone talking at you, which feels very scary, very separated. Once you learn to use your eyes to create a soft eye contact so that you're not really aggressive, you're not aggressing on your audience, you are taking them in and taking their attention in as support. The ball game changes. And so now, at this stage, at the end of the third stage, you are really comfortable in your skin. You're grounded and present. And you have released the tension, the anxiety out of your body. And you have received the flow of attention and created genuine connection with your listeners. And now you're ready for the final step which is to actually speak. And I talk about streaming speech. And what I want to teach you in the next um, live video is how to stream your speech so that you just allow yourself to say what comes up and what comes up and what comes up. Um, so that's what we'll do in my third uh, live video, which will be next Tuesday at 2 o'clock Central Time, same place, same time here. Um, if you have liked this video, and uh, please, please like it. That helps, that helps me get the word out. And if you know of someone that would really benefit from this, then please share it with them. I am so glad that you allowed me to come into your home or your office and, and share some of my ideas about getting comfortable and confident speaking at the center of attention. I will be um, offering a virtual version of this starting in about a week, a class that I call Speak Confidently in Virtual Meetings. And if you think this might be the right kind of process for you to help you transform your stage fright or fear of public speaking, then you can um, check it out at my website. We'll, we'll post the link to a web page so that you can go look at it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.